there, Team Southeast. I'm Tiffany Young, your host for The Scoop. Our Chief Rear Admiral Corka put out a video for Energy Action Month to discuss the importance of energy conservation and how the NAFAC Enterprise supports the Navy's strategic energy goals. These goals include resilience, reliability, and efficiency. Rear Admiral Corka went on to provide examples of projects across the enterprise that support these goals, one of which we did right here in the Southeast, and that is the Energy Savings Performance Project, or ESPC, out of Naval Station Guantanamo Bay. This is the largest ESPC project in DoD history, valuing over $340 million in new energy infrastructure. This will include the DoD's first 20 megawatt state-of-the-art liquefied natural gas power facility and a 12 megawatt solar voltaic array. Photovoltaic is essentially a fancy word for the conversion of sunlight into electricity. This project is uniquely crucial to Naval Station Guantanamo Bay since the base must provide all of its own electrical power since there is no utility company established like at most installations. Power is essential for the base's mission critical facilities including the hospital, airfield, and potable water treatment plant. Power is also needed to support food refrigeration, security and communications, and residential areas. An alternative solution would have required a military construction project for a new power plant. However, the command and contractors agreed that this ESPC project would have more economic and environmental benefits while providing long-term solutions for the warfighters and residents on board Naval Station Guantanamo Bay. The team that has worked on this project has received accolades and recognition from the local community and throughout the Navy Enterprise. The team has been a shining example of what NAFAC Southeast is all about. Good job, Team PWD Guantanamo Bay, and thank you for all your hard work. But the energy projects don't stop there. There are quite a few energy projects in motion across our AOR for FY21 and years to come, so be sure to tune back in for those stories. Keep doing great things. Until next time, bye.